I own quite a few games that have got some dirty Platinums <laughs> and I cannot deny that I have quite a few of those. However, when you play beyond the Platinum for these games and you're genuinely enjoying yourself, that's when I know I've got a really good game in my hands that's cheap and cheerful and deserves some love. And this is one of them. It's called Rubisco Plus. And the idea is that you're playing as this cloud moving through some kind of childlike drawing style world with a constant timer going on to test you as like a speed run through the entire game. But it is a precision platformer that is all about timing and making sure that you do everything in motion with what's going on around you. It feels quite rhythmic and I think that's probably why I really, really enjoyed this game because you know me in rhythm games. I love those too. The controls are very, very simple. You just move around up, down, left and right, controlling the cloud. And then you've got like a booster that you can press forward and it can smash forward and uh, smash up some bricks and get you through some barriers. But it's also quite useful for dodging an awful lot of projectiles because Rubisco Plus has hundreds of them. They will fly at you from all different perspectives and it's often around how you can quite casually make your way through all of the different patterns that these projectiles make whilst collecting all of the stars in a level. Collect all the stars in the level and eventually you'll be able to reach a moon. The moon then lets you finish the level and move to the next one. There's loads of different varieties of levels. Each kind of area has its own like gameplay mechanic that it leans into. Some are more timing projectile based, some are a bit more around smashing things up. Others are more maze-like in trying to get to the end or move past like sliding blocks, for example. Others have lots of um, like safe zones versus not safe zones. And when you cross those moving platforms, getting through like minefields so that you can stay safe in the right place kind of thing. It's really interesting the way how it all kind of plays out. Nothing that's going to make you go, oh my God, this is groundbreaking. But it plays so easily and so well that it reminds me of like a really traditional top down 2D platform, uh, like precision platformer, just done really well. And for the price point I picked it up at, which was £1.59, it was way worth the money. So yeah, cross buy for PS4, PS5 as well. So two dirty platinums, but I played well beyond it, desperately trying to see what my overall kind of time would be at the end and it gets very hard late game so be prepared if you like your precision platformers that offer a challenge Rubisco Plus does it but you'll have a nice easy platinum on the way to it first and foremost so yeah I think quite often Rata Laika games uh, some of the East Asia soft stuff as well they get a bad rap because sometimes they're offering some indie games with some really cheap and cheerful platinums that don't require you to even complete the game to get through it but hidden in there are some really good gems. And I've highlighted a few of them on this channel before. And Rubisco Plus is my latest discovery on them. I know it's been out for a while, but I've only just picked it up. And I had a blast. So yeah, two absolute thumbs up from me. Hidden gem. Written review on higherplanegames.com. You guys take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network. A completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.